Hi everyone, welcome to BurdaSolution.com. In this video, we will find the current passing through the inductor. As we know that voltage across the inductor depends on the inductor value and change in current with respect to time. The equation for voltage is V is equal to L di over dt. If we multiply dt on both sides of this equation, we obtain V dt is equal to L di over dt into dt. If we simplify this equation, we get V dt is equal to L di. dt is cancelled out with dt. After rearranging this equation, we get L di is equal to V dt. Now integrate both sides of this equation, we get this result. Note that we use x and ta as the variable of integration whereas i and t become limits of the integral. We integrate the left side of this equation and right side remains as it is. From the integration of 1, we get x with upper limit i t and lower limit i t naught. If we put the limits in this equation, we get this result where x is replaced by i t minus lower limit i t naught. If we move the L on the right side of this equation, we get this result. If we move the IT node on the right side of this equation, we get this result. In many practical applications, T node is 0. So the equation becomes IT is equal to 1 over L integration of voltage from 0 to T plus I of 0. In this example, we have to find the current passing through the inductor. We have given that V is equal to 0 when T is less than 0. For T greater than 0, we have voltage is equal to 20 T e raised to power minus 10 T volt. We have also assumed that the current is 0 when T is less than 0. We just have to find the current when T is greater than 0. This is the equation we use for finding the current. If we put the values of inductor, voltage and I of 0, our equation becomes this, where the value of L is 0.1, V is 20 ta e raised to power minus 10 ta, and the value of I of 0 is equal to 0. Because the 20 is a constant number, so we can move it out from the integration term. We get this result. Now consider this part of the equation. We are going to solve it. After solving, we put its result back in this equation. If we notice that there are two functions present in this equation, so we have to solve it by using this formula. Write the first function as it is and integrate the second function minus derivative of the first function along with the integration of the second function and the integration of the second term. After solving this equation, we get this result the integration of e raised to power minus 10 ta is e raised to power minus 10 ta divided by minus 10 and dt is cancelled out with dt. Further solving this equation, we get this result. Now take minus e raised to power minus 10 ta divided by 100 common, we get this result. Now put the limits and also take 1 divided by 100 common, we get this result. In this part of equation, ta is replaced by t and in this term of equation, ta is replaced by 0. If we further simplify this equation, we get this result. This becomes 1 because anything whose power is 0 will become 1 and this becomes 0. If we further simplify this equation, we get this result. We have just multiplied minus e raised to power minus 10t with 10t plus 1. So we get this portion of the equation and if we simplify this portion of the equation, we get 1 divided by 100. Now take 1 divided by 100 common, we get this result. Now we are going to put the result back in the equation of current. We have proved that if we solve this, we get this result. So we are going to replace this portion with this. After solving this part and rearranging this part, our equation becomes this. 
after solving this becomes 2 and this part is just rearranged. This is the value of current when t is greater than 0. If we plot the voltage with respect to time we get this curve and if we plot the current with respect to time we get this curve. Now we are able to find the current passing through the inductor. That's the end of this video. For more tutorials visit www.burdasolution.com You can also follow us on our Facebook page which is facebook.com slash burdasolution